hi and welcome back. I'm Helen and today I'm going to show you my easiest, quickest lemon cake recipe. It's delicious, it's zingy and I've had a lot of people ask me about how to make it so here we go. Today we're going to need 225 grams of butter, soft, I put it in the microwave just to get it a bit softer but it's best just to leave it out the fridge, Ugh, look at that, make sure you get all your butter in and that it's nice and soft, probably not as soft as what I've got it because um, it might not cream up as well but it needs to be nice and creamy and thick. Right, now that's nice and um, soft. It's not quite white because I melted the butter a bit too much, but you can beat it a little bit more than that if you want, if you've got an electric whisker, beater, um, big thing. Right, now we're going to add 300 grams of caster sugar. We didn't have any caster sugar, so we've got granulated in. Check it out. In it goes. 300 grams. And mix it up. One by one, and mix it until it looks like a wet scrambled egg. Next, we're going to add in 225 grams of self-raising flour. In it goes. You don't really need to sieve it, you can if you want. It's, um, it's not necessary. And then mix until it's nice and thick. <laughs> One teaspoon of zested lemon. I'm going to put in a little bit more because I love it and it tastes really good. And I love lemon. Lemon juice. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to add in a bit more again because I like it. It's really zesty. Scoop the sides to make sure you've mixed your batter really well. That looks really good still quite light you can see all the air bubbles inside then you want to get a loaf tin any size really but just just standard loaf tin um, and you can pick these up from any supermarket for really cheap so you want to put all your mixture in plop it in right into the middle And if it don't worry about it not being too lemony at this point, you can always add in some syrup over the top once it's come out the oven. And you can also put a bit of lemon curd and lemon buttercream in the middle when you're finished, which really takes it to the next level. When you've laid it all out nicely like this, put it in the oven for about 50 minutes to an hour. It takes that long because it's quite a deep pan and it needs to cook all the way through without burning the top. So when you think it might be cooked, get a little toothpick and stick it down into the middle. If it comes out clean, it's ready. If it comes out a bit cakey, 
then put it in for about another five minutes or just keep testing it until it comes out clean. Let's go! Right then ladies and gentlemen, it's now my time to take over and show you how to make the syrup and buttercream. First start off with equal amounts of water and caster sugar, then mix in as much lemon juice as you want. Obviously the more you add, the more lemon flavour you will have. Now you want to turn that onto a medium heat. The trick to this is to not let the liquid settle, keep it moving at all times. You will now start to see the liquid go from a murky lemon colour to a nice clear colour. Like magic. At this point, you want to add your lemon zest in and let it simmer for a little bit longer and then take it off the heat when you think it's done. Now it's time for the buttercream. First off, you wanna start with about 250 grams of butter. You wanna whisk this up until it's nice and pale. As you can see here, Helen's doing it the brutish way. Oh, it's getting creamier. Just got to persevere at this point. There we go, getting nice and creamy. I want no hard bits of butter in there. Then you want to add in around about 600 grams of icing sugar. At this point, it's going to get very messy. So as you can see, Helen very uh, intelligently pre-mixed a bit of that in so we didn't get too much of an explosion cloud. And then she added the rest in. I think this one goes a bit wild. There it goes. Then you just want to whisk that up so you've got no clumps of sugar or butter. It's nice and creamy. And now it's time to put it all together. First off, you want to slice it straight down the middle. Don't forget to make sure it's nice and cool by this point. For one, you don't want to burn your hands. And for two, try and cut it straight, unlike myself. Then add the buttercream. Make sure you get a nice good layer of buttercream on there. You want to flatten that out nice and smooth. Next up, get your lemon curd. And you want to spread that all over. Nice thick layer I like. There we go, look at that. Then get one piece, then the other piece, and plonk it on top. Apparently I built this one back to front and he was meant to do this one when it came out of the oven. But, stab it with a load of holes. This is not sped up, this is how much I was stabbing it. You want to drizzle that over with the syrup we made earlier. 
make sure to get it all in the holes. Lovely. Now look at that. Once again, people, thank you very much for watching. Uh, it's a pleasure doing these videos for you. The kids love them, we love them. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Check out the videos that have popped up on screen. And we'll see you next time. Take care.